So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're going to show you how to calculate a sediment transport index using SRTM DEM in RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So the sediment transport index is a key hydrological and geomorphological parameter used to assess the erosion potential and sediment transport in a given landscape. It is a modified form of stream power index and is often employed in erosion uh, soil erosion studies, watershed management, land degradation assessment, and uh, the STI provides an insight into how the sediment moves across the landscape due to the surface runoff, topography, and hydrological forces. The sediment transport plays a critical role in shaping the landscape and influencing the quality of downstream water bodies. The high sediment transport rates can lead to a soil degradation, a loss of fertile topsoil, a siltation of river, reservoirs and lake, reducing the storage capacity, degradation of aquatic ecosystem due to the excessive sediment uh, deposition, increased risk of flooding due to the sediment accumulation in river channel. The STI helps in identifying the high risk erosion zones and is widely used in watershed management, land use planning and soil conservation strategies. And the STI is calculated uh, using the combination of slope gradient, specific contributing area, which represents a cumulative uh, upslope drainage area per unit contour length. So the general formula is given as STI equals to the specific contributing area divided by 22.13 to the power of m multiplying sine beta divided by 0.08 96 to the power of n. Here the AS which uh, represents specific contributing area SCA which is the upslope area drainage uh, draining per unit contour width of meter square by meter and the beta which represents the slope angle in degrees and the M and uh, N uh, this is the empirical components that depends on soil and topographic condition typically the values used are M equals to 0.6 and n equals to 1.3 as a general uh, scenario. So the commonly used value for m and n components are 0.6 and n equals to uh, 1.3. So now let me get back to RGIS Pro. So first uh, in the map section we're going to navigate this option called add data and in that we're going to click this option called add data to the map. Now navigate to the folder location where you saved your dim file. So in the video description, uh, I will give the link for how to download SRTM DEM from USGS Earth Explorer. So you can uh, download the DEM data from that particular website. So now I have navigated to my uh, folder location where I have saved my DEM file. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to click this option called OK. So now you can able to visualize this is my DEM file. So this is my SRTM DEM, so I clip based on our study region. So first uh, we're going to navigate uh, this tool, uh, navigate the section called analysis and in that we're going to click this option called geoprocessing. So now a window pop up saying geoprocessing and uh, I'm going to enter as fill. So now uh, we're going to search. So now here you can able to view the select a first tool, fill spatial analysis tool. So this is the fill tool which is available in the spatial analysis tool. I'm going to click this. So now we can also view the details of this particular tool. So this fill tool uh, fills sink in the surface raster to remove small imperfections in the data. So again the input surface raster I'm going to select my dem file. And in the output surface raster, I'm going to select my folder location where I'm going to save my fill dem file. So once you navigated the folder location where you could like to save this dem fill, so I have entered the name as dem fill.tiff. So I'm going to click save. So once you did that, we're going to navigate this option run and click run. So the fill tool is completed. So uh, you can able to see in the content section, we have our dem fill. So now in the next step, uh, we're going to navigate to the, the geoprocessing window again here and I'm going to search by flow direction. So we're going to enter as flow direction. So now I have entered as flow direction. 
So we're going to click this tool called Flow Direction Spatial Analyst. So you can also view the details about this particular tool. So the Flow Direction tool, it creates a raster of flow direction from each cell to its downslope neighbor or neighbors using D8 or multiple flow direction or D infinity method. So now in the input surface raster, I'm going to select my uh, demfill.tiff file and choose the output location where you could like to save this file. So I'm going to save as the flow direction.tiff and I'm going to click save and uh, choose your flow direction type here. So you can go through the different uh, types that is available. So for example, D8 is assigns a flow direction based on D8 flow method. Uh, this method assigns a flow direction to the steepest downslope neighbor and this is the default. So you can go through the other method that is M, uh, MFD and, uh, and other flow direction type here. So you can go through this. So I've selected my default type that is D8 and um, we can navigate to this option called run and click run to create a flow direction raster. So now we can able to visualize in the content section we have a flow direction raster. So the next tool uh, we're going to navigate to flow accumulation tool. So we're going to enter as flow accumulation. So now I have entered as flow accumulation spatial analysis tool. So we're going to click this. So here the flow accumulation tool it creates a raster of uh, acute raster of accumulated flow in each cell. A weight factor can optionally be applied. So in the input flow direction raster, I'm going to select my flow direction dot and choose your output for flow accumulation raster to suitable folder location of your choice. So we're going to enter as flow accumulation dot So now I have entered as flow accumulation dot and click save. So in the input weight raster, so you can leave it as a default and you can go through the details about this input weight raster and the output data type. So we're going to select as a default type as a float and the input flow direction type. So we have previously selected the D8 method. So once you selected this and we're going to click run. And this is our flow accumulation raster. So in our next step, we're going to navigate the slope tool here. So in the geoprocessing uh, window, I'm going to enter as slope. So select a slope spatial analysis tool. So you can go through the details about the specific tool. So slope tool, it identifies the slope, the gradient or steepness from each cell of raster. So in the parameter section, uh, the input raster will be our dem fill dot tiff and choose the output file location where you would like to save your slope raster. So now I have entered our slope.tiff and we're going to click save. So next we have our output measurements. So it determines the measurement unit of the output slope raster. So you can choose either degree or percent rise. So the degree which indicates the inclination of slope will be calculated in degree. The percent rise the inclination of slope will be calculated as a percent rise, also referred to as a percent slope. So we're going to select as a degree. And uh, we have a planar method, method. So we have selected as a default by planar. So you can go through a different method that is available here. So for example, if you select planar, the calculation will be performed on the projected flat plane using a 2D Cartesian coordinate system. And this is the default method. And uh, if you're doing in uh, geodesic, the calculation will be performed in 3D Cartesian coordinate system by considering the shape of the earth as an ellipsoid. So we're going to select as a planar. And rest, we're going to leave it as a default. And we're going to click run. So now we can able to visualize this is our slope raster. So let me navigate. Uh, Navigate to the slope raster. I'm going to right click and uh, click this option called symbology. So in symbology, uh, I'm going to select uh, classify and uh, in method, I'm going to select as uh, equal interval. And now you can select the number of classes. So for example, I'm going to select five classes. So you can select a class according to your choice. So I'm going to select my color ramp for slope raster. To do that, we're going to navigate to this option 
and select select the suitable color ramp of your choice for example i'm gonna click this color ramp called condition count number so now we can able to uh, visualize the slope raster so let us navigate our geoprocessing tool again the window and we're gonna search the last tool that is raster calculator so you can able to visualize we have this tool called raster calculator spatial analysis tool i'm gonna click this tool So you can also view the details about this particular uh, tool. So raster calculator, it builds and executes a single sigma, uh, single uh, map algebra expression using Python uh, syntax. So now we're gonna expand this. So in the raster calculator, let us uh, enter our recipe formula to calculate the sediment uh, transport index. So in the raster section, we have slope raster, flow accumulation raster, flow direction raster, and the fill, uh, dim fill raster. So let me show you the formula. So to calculate our sediment transport index, we have to apply the specific formula, that is STI equals to a, uh, AS, that is uh, specific contributing area, divided by 22.13 uh, to the power of M, multiplying sine beta divided by 0 0.0896 to the power of n so a which represents a specific contributing area which is an upslope area draining per unit contour width in the unit uh, meter square by meter and the beta which represents the slope angle in degree and the m and n uh, m and uh, n which represents the empirical component that depends on soil and topographic condition. So typically, uh, the value used are m equals to 0 0.6 and n equals to 1.3. So, so to talk in detail about this m and n, uh, the empirical components, so m equals to the exponent for specific contributing area, which controls how the flow accumulation influence the sediment transport, and the n, the exponent for the slope angle, controls how the slope steepness steepness affects the erosion and transport so to go details about this particular uh, so these values are based on the studies of natural hills and watershed where the soil erosion and sediment transport has been measured under different conditions so when m is, m is equals to 0 0.6 this value suggests that the area with a larger contributing drainage area and have a, a moderate influence on sediment transport so the higher value of M could mean the flow accumulation has a strong effect leading to a greater erosion in, large, in a larger drainage area. So the lower value could indicate that a slope effect uh, dominates over the drainage area size. So when N equals to 1.3, this means the slope angle has a greater influence on sediment transport than the drainage area. So a steeper slope accelerates uh, runoff velocity increasing the sediment movement so the value of n equals to 1.3 suggests the sediment transport is highly sensitive to change in the slope gradient so the value of m and n uh, we can adjust these values so adjust the weight weight uh, given to each factor making the sediment transport index adaptable to different soil types and terrain conditions and hydrological settings so let me get back to our gis pro so let us uh, enter that formula in this uh, raster calculator. First, we're going to navigate to this uh, function called power. So I'm going to click this. So now here, I'm going to enter the, I'm going to click flow accumulation uh, raster. So I'm going to select flow accumulation raster. And uh, we're going to divide uh, the flow accumulation raster by the value 2.22.13 as given in this formula 22.13 so I'm gonna select the divide operator and I'm gonna enter the value as 22.13 and uh, to the power of 0 0.6 I'm gonna enter as to the power of 0 0.6 So next, we're going to multiply 
double click again I'm going to select the power uh, function here double click so according to the formula sine beta divided by 0 0.0896 to the power of n so n which represents 1.3 so now we're going to navigate to the sine function here and inside the sine function uh, I'm going to select uh, the slope raster so we're going to navigate to the slope raster we're going to double click and we're going to divide the slope raster so we're going to select the divide uh, sine op divide operator so we're going to divide it by this particular value as given in the formula that is 0 0.0896 so now I entered the value as 0 0.0896 to the power of 1.3 so let me remove the space between this so you can able to visualize this is the formula to calculate so now choose your uh, folder location where you would like to save the stream power index raster so we're going to enter a stream power index that is a sediment transport index so uh, we're going to enter the file as a raster name as sediment transport index sti so now i have entered as uh, sti.tiff and i'm going to click save so now navigate to the folder location so navigate to this option called run and uh, we're going to click run to execute this tool so now uh, in the content section uh, you can able to visualize we have a raster that is our sediment transport index raster so you can able to see that so we're going to turn off all of the layers we're going to turn off slope uh, all other uh, rasters except our sediment transport index raster so currently we are visualizing our sediment transport index raster so we're going to navigate to the layer section uh, layer section sti and we're going to right click and we can navigate to the option called symbology so now in the stretch type uh, we're going to select this particular uh, that is we're going to select classify and uh, in the method we're going to select as a equal interval and now we can select the number of classes so for example we can select uh, 8 classes And for better visualization, let me turn on the dem file here. So now we're going to navigate to the section here. In this, uh, you can able to see. So we have this different set of colors here. So uh, the yellow are the areas of uh, indicating the low sediment transport uh, values, and the red are the areas which indicating the high uh, sediment transport. So you can able to see that. So for the interpretation part, so the high uh, sediment transport index value indicates the high erosion risk zone and uh, the low sediment transport index value represents the stable or deposition prone areas. So based on that value we are observed, so the high uh, sediment transport index value which suggests us a high erosion, uh, high erosion rate and low sediment transport in the index which suggests us the, the deposition prone areas. So in this study region, we can able to observe only certain part of the study region has a higher erosion areas, which is clearly indicating the river, uh, you can able to see here, which is a drainage uh, areas or the river paths, which are uh, indicated as a high erosion areas with the high ST, STI value, that is sediment transport index value. You can able to see the red color here. So in this way, you can calculate uh, a sediment transport index using SRTM DEM using RGIS Pro. And link uh, for how to download SRTM DEM uh, will be given in the description. So thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.